Okay, coming up is part two of the talk that I gave at the Canadian Tappers Gathering in 2013. The first part was how easily we can really turn off our fight or flight mechanism. Um, and now this part is going to be about how this works at the synapse in the brain. So you're going to get a picture really, a clear picture, a working picture of how this happens um, in the brain, particularly right at the synapse of the brain. I have a lot more information uh, on my website, which is myfibromyalgiarelief.com. Created a bunch of videos um, that explain what I'm talking about in a lot of detail and actually help you uh, to do this process for yourself, which I call the ICE method uh, for physical and emotional pain relief. All right, enjoy this uh, video here on how this works uh, chemically, mechanically in the synapses of the brain. Thanks. Talk, but I did want to spend our time right here. This is a brain cell, a neuron. You've got a trillion or more of those inside. Okay, so immediately we're talking about things we can't even imagine. But it turns out that this is called an axon. It comes out of the neuron and there's a thousand or more or a hundred or whatever depending on the brain cell coming out of each brain cell. Okay? And then on the other end of the synapse, the connection point, they call it a dendrite that's going into another uh, brain cell. Okay, so you imagine this incredible array in here that can store all of the experiences of our lives. No problem, there's trillions of these things and then you multiply it by hundreds of thousands of connections off of each one. And don't worry, we're not gonna run out of space. We got lots of space. What's important in this talk about healing is that what glues a synapse together, part of the glue of a synapse holding that together is a molecule called a peptide. You may have heard of peptides? Mm -hmm. yeah. Peptides are strings of amino acids, there's 21 of those I think. And um, these, when they form in different arrangements, they carry information. It turns out that depending on the emotion you paid attention to whatever it was that was distracting you, you were in that moment producing a peptide that corresponded to the car being repossessed or whatever it is that was distracting you. When you brought your attention to the empty space, the space that has nothing in it, the space between two points, you produce a different peptide, a different instructional molecule that then goes out to all of the 50 or 100 trillion cells in your body and says, hey, nothing out there that you have to worry about. And what you store now, right? because, because all along this day you're going to be storing things, right? You're going to go have a fantastic lunch and you're going to have a memory about that, or you're going to go out and you park in two hours alone and you have a ticket and you have a memory about that. All of these things get stored, and the emotion that's occurring creates a peptide and it's getting glued right in there. So now when you go back to when you were three years old, and the neighbor came over and hit you with a frying pan because you, I don't know, you're eating their garbage, I don't know what it is, but we've all got those memories, right? Something happened that wasn't calm. Maybe you guys have a totally calm life. But it was stored right here because at the moment that you got hit with a frying pan, you had a certain emotion like, I've got a bigger frying pan, you watch out, or I don't know what's happening, you know, I'm really scared. Yeah. A peptide is created, was created when you were three years old and got stored. All right, so how's it going with uh, listening to this talk? I love this stuff. I love helping people use it um, for issues, either emotional, physical. I love talking about it. I love discussing about it, reading and learning. In the next little section we're going to actually get into memory reconsolidation and that's the heart of um, how this process works. It's the heart I think of how many processes work including the emotional freedom technique um, which I was privileged to be in the presence of at the Canadian EFT gathering. So next up is part three, memory reconsolidation.